Hello, everyone. So, today, all we're going to be doing is just vibing out to some Halo 2 anniversary. Because um, I decided, hey, why not? You know? Um, so, let's see. It's loading. Let me just actually make it so y'all can see it. Looks violent. Skipping that. All right. Um. So what we got to do right here, right quick? Da, 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 da. Field of view. Yes, yes, yes. Save changes. Okay. Let's go. I didn't want to look at my control bindings because I'm stubborn, but let's see what they have set for default for the fucking four. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to argue with that because I can still reach up to it pretty easy. It'd be easier if it was like shift or something. Hello, Sentinel. Motherfucker. I didn't say you could. mechanic that you have to shoot it to open it, but it's whatever. Hello there, grunt. Hello there. Arbiter, our savior. Oh, I ain't no savior. Alright, let's keep moving. I would play this on Legendary, but like, I, I, like I'm a sadist, but I'm not that much of a sadist. You know what I want? You know what I mean? Sorry, I think it would be masochist. Yeah, I think masochist is the the word I'm looking for. Overall, though, new sound effects for this game, top tier. Let's see. You know, compared to regular Halo 2, I have to say this looks actually like really good. Like, um. Very bad thing! I keep hitting that. I don't know why I keep doing that. Whatever. Um. Let's just see what it takes. So it's tab. Okay. So if I want to compare it. Jesus Christ. Big, scary thing. Run away. 
Okay. Okay. So let's just compare this real quick. The sound quality increases as I do it. I mean, it's almost no contest that this looks way better. And I mean, it's performing rather good. isn't that hard to be honest um let's see we'll be facing more of those later on One more, i don't plan on doing a playthrough in this anniversary Maybe mode somehow. since i already made one for regular halo 2 um the sad part is that it hasn't really aged well. I've gotten a lot better at making videos since then, so it really sucks that, you know, that's the Halo 2 content on my channel. Give it a year or two and I might revisit, but right now I just don't want to put in the effort of going through this whole campaign again. Because I've been going through it on my own time, and I've been loving it. Um, and, you know, I haven't had to comment it over it or anything. I'm not saying that's a hassle or a burden or anything, but, you know... I do find it a little bit more enjoyable sometimes to um, just play through things on my own. Let's see. So, anyways, yeah, let's um, let's talk about some things on the channel and stuff. So, I've been thinking about D and D recently, and you know, it's it's very hard to do D and D. Um, oh, that's blood. Yeah, I forgot about them. It's very hard to do D&D &D remotely. Well, not very hard. The tools are all there. See, the problem is everyone's availability, because most of my friends are essential workers. It's hard. It's really hard. They also got, uh, some of them got finals to deal with right now. That's pretty difficult. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to wait until we all have a schedule that we can, you know, kind of work with and adapt to, of course. Um, and you know, it's, it's whatever, um, you'll get D&D content when we're all available for it. Alaria is still going to be the campaign we're doing. You might see a couple one-shots pop up here and there, just like when we have free time in the day and day. But, um, yeah, and that's what I expect for He's a musician on this channel. Let's. I'm gonna be real. I haven't. It's hard because I really want to continue doing music and stuff on this channel. You know, I want to do professional quality stuff. I have the audio interface. I can. You know, I have the free amps. I. I have the software. But. There's just there's a learning curve with it all that I that I have to put forward, and it's hard. It's really hard. Um. So yeah, I can't say you'll get any more albums or anything like that um, anytime soon. But if I do get the inspiration to you know do another thing like the the the, the, the last album I made then, hey man, y'all will be the first to know. Well, maybe my family, but, you know, y'all will be the second. <laughs> um, I really like that they haven't changed the feel of the weapons in this. 
It, it feels a lot. It feels so good. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a reloading glitch I don't think I've come up with. So yeah, D&D, &D, postponed for now. Gone, but not forgotten. You, you'll see. I have some great plans to stockpile for the campaign. You know, I don't want to get overzealous, so I'm trying to not touch them as much as I was before. But, yeah, you know, I think I'm pretty much set with the plans of what I'm going to do. Uh, future games I'm going to play. Let's see. Well, I've already uploaded. I haven't, you know, unlisted it yet. But I already uploaded one part of the Redux of my Resident Evil thing because I only got three streams in to streaming Resident Evil, and I uh, lost the save file sadly. So what I'm trying to do is uh, just kind of go back, do things a little bit better. But I have a I have a mod installed that's very fun. Uh, that puts back the original voice acting. So, you know, that's going to be fun. I think everyone will enjoy that. It's, it's so iconic, cheesy. Pick your name for it. I love it. You know, even though the new voice acting is like uh, actually like 10,000 times better. You know, I still enjoy it quite a bit. Um... Other games that I might do playthroughs on. I downloaded Half-Life 2 M mod, and I was just testing out some of the shooting and stuff. Promising on that. Uh, you might see something like that. Very high chance. Uh, let me think. What else? Halo 3, when that gets released on PC, that's going to be a fun time. Uh, actually, all the... Halo games released on PC, probably. Uh, I don't know about Halo 4, but definitely Halo 3 and ODST. Uh, you're going to see a playthrough on. i got to finish ha uploading Halo Reach. I have like three parts in storage. I finished uh, my Mass Effect playthrough. Mass Effect 2, I should say. Um, finished it. But... Um, as I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I did. Um, the save got corrupted, and I had to go into the save editor, do some stuff. So the fi I did. So during the final mission, it didn't turn out like I wanted. You know what I mean? Um, the suicide mission. I also missed uh, having to do some loyalty missions, and they got. Uh, they just got automatically done with the save editor. Which kind of sucks. Um, so, for when I eventually begin Mass Effect 3, what I'm going to be doing is just taking a, a Paragon 100% save in Mass Effect 2 with all the choices I wanted that's already completed, and I'm just going to be using that to the name and face to... I think that's honestly the best choice I got for that, because I put so many hours into the, in the Mass Effect 2 and the Mass Effect 1 that, like kind of want my choices to carry over, but I understand, you know, if I can't with that, like, actual save, so it's whatever. Um, holy shit. I think I just got schwacked. Um, I think an interesting one might be SWAT 4. I got that on, um, oh, what you might call it. GOG games. Yeah, I downloaded that on there. Because it's not a huge uh, game. And it's actually pretty fun. Might have to download some of the more, like, the realistic mods to make it really realistic. But yeah, that's a really fun one. Um, so yeah, th those are some future game topics that we might, you know, 
spread into. I, I foresee me really, you know, getting into that and you know, playing more of that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's keep moving through this labyrinth. I get a checkpoint here now. Fucks up with that shit. Throw some grenades over there. Uh, shotgun is like the best weapon, honestly. Like any level you find a shotgun, the game just comes like ten times easier. Goodbye, soldier. Hold up, y'all want a before and after this fucker? Big mamas. Oh, big mamas. Let's prep a grenade over there. I forgot how, more aggressive, how much more aggressive the Flood are in uh, Halo 2 Anniversary. Because I haven't um, run into them yet. I haven't played through Halo 2 in a little bit. So, yeah. Got this fucker with me. Can't see me, Tom, is now. Yeet. Someone had to ask me if I wanted to pick the Halo 2 shotgun or the Halo 1 shotgun. I'd probably go Halo 2. Um, I like the look of it a little bit better. And I think the sound is a little bit more satisfying. Though, the most satisfying shotgun sh sound actually probably goes to the Halo 3 shotgun. But Halo 3 shotgun like is so slow, you know, that it's like, yeah, no, no, no. I wouldn't suggest it for the flood, even though it's still the best option for the flood. <sighs> Knew that would happen. Ah. Uh. So, yeah. Also, super happy, you know, from the rumors I've heard about um, the future graphics cards and shit. And, and, like, I've been raving about it to friends and on forums and shit. Um, with like 50% gains from this generation with ray tracing on all cards, I feel like, you know, our DNA 2 and the, uh, and the NVIDIA 3000 series are going to be real bangers, you know, just in terms of uh, just feature sets and shit. I can't wait to personally play uh, Minecraft on, you know, RTX. I feel like I've seen what that looks like. I'm like, God damn, is that beautiful. You know, um, it, it's pretty impressive, in my opinion, what they've done uh, with it. See, just lighting and everything. You know what I mean? Um, now nah, let's let's give us a quick break from that. Let's do a little bit of a Doom Three, eh? Um, let's see. Yes, yes, yes. 
Morse. It's got an instant renderer. Ultra everything. Try a little bit of a kick. Yeah, I've never actually tried nightmare mode on this game. Well, I have. I've tried it, but I've never actually gotten very far in it. So I feel like this will be a nice, um, you know, a nice time to do it. You know, during this little chill, lax, just playing with Blazing Wall Fifty Six. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to like tell my life story about how I got into Doom and stuff, but you know, Doom is one of those games that I just like the series in general that I just very passionate and fond for. You know, I, I've never was never into the custom Doom mod scene or anything. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I was into um, my dad. I, I always like I saw into my dad. God. No, I um when I when I was a young lad, you know, I uh I saw him playing Doom 3 and I was like, oh, what's that? And he was playing Doom 3. Can I not really can I real wow, those are like most limited audio settings I think I've ever seen. Okay, let me get this okay, started. So I, got, I think I had to lower it. No, I had to put a negative 20 decibel thing on my audio. So it would actually, uh, so you could actually hear me over the fucking game. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're clear for something, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, what can I say? Doom 3 is a game that's been with me since my childhood. Uh, I originally saw my dad playing it. Welcome to Mars. And I was just First like, time? Oh, that's like cool. You can just leave your bag there. It. I'll have it set and up. And I started quarters. playing it, you know, on my own. Okay. Because I a took few his Doom to take care of Four CD this pack or whatever it was. Personal data assistant. Downloaded it. Um, you know, myself, and I was like, wow, this game Mars is, City is a smoke running shittily. Three smoke <laughs> you know. Areas. Is, um, Thank you for your cooperation. This our goal of providing a true home away from his original. Um, Original was this ran like shit on most computers back in the day. Um, it wasn't until I got my first PC, like real PC, that I could run this game at something better than an 800 by 600. You know, <laughs> there was no running it at 1920 by 1080 I'm back here. in the day. You know, um, you, you just dealt with it because, like, look at that dynamic lighting and shit. This this may look trivial today, but damn, let me tell you, back in the day. When 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 I was trying to run games on my fucking window Windows Seven certified PC, yeah, you know just what it is. When I was trying to run on that, you know, it was a it was a HP Pavilion. It was something, man. Didn't run good. Attention, Dr. But I played. I played. And that was one of the games that made me just get accustomed. I can play games at low frame rates. I can play them really laggily. You know, I can. I'm, I'm good at doing that shit. Um, I, you know, I, I have no Dirk problem with that. So. Yeah, I mean, that's just what it is. I didn't get into the. Doom 1, Doom 2, until a couple years later after I was playing Doom 3. And I thought they, you know, I thought Doom 1 and Doom 2 were great games. Um, but I think you have to consider them differently from Doom 3, if you're going to rate them both together, you know what I mean? Just this way, yes. Um, yeah, so I think you just need to really not consider this a Doom game, if that makes any sense. Um, cause I think so many people do, and that's why they discredit it as being slow, boring, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? When it's actually a really nice, you can see the care put into things. You can see there's a lot of effort in it. And I just feel like it gets dissed on for a lot of wrong reasons. 
especially with it being a decently great horror game. And it got me into the horror genre. Um, and because it's not all jump scares. A lot of it's psychological, um, body horror, you know, the interesting stuff that stuff like Outlast or, you know, and like Alien. Well, well, that's a different opinion. Stuff like Outlast doesn't cover, in my opinion. Alien Isolation I actually really like. That's one of the few, like, um, hide and stealth horror games, I guess I call them, that I actually can enjoy. But this one, you Welcome know, it just sets up a great Marine. atmosphere. It's a great shooting game overall. Mars. Um, I think... I'm going to need you to grab some armor and secure your uh, pistol before this I is can called a sneeze. security. <laughs> okay, grab okay. your gear. Yeah, so this is a good, um, now, it's definitely a great shooting combat. game. Let me do a radio test. Let's see here. Mars. All right, let's see. Hmm, I can't, like, pick the soul cube right now, which I think is kind of weird. But I mean, that's fine. So yeah, my history would. Hey, you're looking. Yeah, so I I have a lovely history with Doom. I love Doom. Um, even the the expansion pack to this, I actually really like. Um, and you know, I'll I'll probably keep playing it for days and days and days to come in the future. Um. One thing I do wish was a uh, in Ram Baston, your environmental services supervisor. Five three one. Date is October nineteenth. I've been hearing an alarming number. Of One thing I do wish was uh, in um, unexplainable things. Being this, on another planet you know, working game has always been a or spooky. Doom Three Resurrection of so Evil. No, no. Well, it is in Doom Three Resurrection of Evil. What, is uh, is what I want in this one though is uh, Super Shock. Now, I had the sick mod, it's called S-I-K-K-H, sick mod, um, and I had that in, I had that on my Doom 3 playthrough thingy that I did, but, um, I don't have it here because I, you know, new motherboard, new boot drive, new everything that I did. Um, kind of forgot to reinstall it. It's, it's whatever, though. Um, let's, uh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I had noise. Double time it down there. Let's see. Your assigned area and so there's this there's the there's loads on here. Out. There we go. And there we go. That's fine. That's fine. So yeah, let's go let's talk about Doom real quick. Because no, there's no. been some interesting I, developments uh, with Doom no. recently. Um considering the Considering Doom Eternal, the new though shit that they wanted to pull, um, big mistake. I am uh, They really fucked up the on that. You know, just, on systems that the game ran beautifully on before, they're now running horribly. Like. I don't know what caused them to fucking do what they did there. It's stupid. Can I not set any controls? There we go. Uh, so cute. Gee. Better have it like set right there. There we go. Um, yeah. You 
All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. We fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Yeah, so Denuvo was a huge mistake that they made. I can't really forgive it. To be honest. And it's the reason why I don't have the game yet. I was actually planning on getting it when it was on sale, and then that happened during its sale, and I was like, oh shit, I just don't care anymore. So until they remove that, you can guarantee that I am not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole in my days. Um, it's just, it's, it's a damn shame. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Yeah, it's just a damn shame overall. Doom 2016, though. Uh, that's actually a really good game. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'll get flack for this opinion all day. But, um, but, out of every Doom game, I consider almost every Doom game a great Doom game. Um, and while I enjoyed it, and I beat that game on Nightmare Mode, I would still say it's. I'd still rate Doom three. Then so this is highest to lowest. I haven't played Doom sixty four yet, so I can't rate that. Um, but I do want to play that. Or Doom Eternal. I haven't played Doom Eternal, so I can't rate that. Um, so. I probably rate. Yeah, I I probably rate Doom 3 as my top, honestly. Then Doom 2. Doom 1. Then Doom 2016. Um There might be a couple others I'd put in there. But You know, I, th I think that's my official rating. And you can call it nostalgia for Doom 3 that I enjoyed so much, but it actually is just that fun of a game for me, you know? So I can't say I have a that's like a wrong opinion of mine or anything, you know? Um, Doom. There's one thing I would do uh, with fucking Doom 3, though, to change it. It's gotta be the crappiest shotgun ever fucking made. Uh, like, let me pull out a little phone here and just check real quick if there's, you know, so let's see, on Reddit, Doom 3 shot, horrible, horrid, spread is too big. Um, I mean, the, there, it just goes on and on about what, how bad the Doom 3 shotgun is. Um, like, just because of how bad the spread is. Um, now, there actually is a fix. So, what you do... is there's a console command let me find it real quick hmm welcome to the dungeon marine the most unexciting place on mars i'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol there. before i can pass you through security that is weird okay, grab your gear I will pick up my gear. Now you're ready for combat. Watch the shoot. Okay, interesting. Um, Mars Sac Radio. So I, I loaded the save Excellent. again, and it Good did that shit. That's looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? 
Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Dash monorail. Hey, look at that. We're at the monorail. Boom 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 ba chum ba chum ba chum. Yep. My back hurts. But it's fine. It's completely fine. Don't care. So I installed a mod that should that should help. As you can see, shotgun spread is a lot more uh, predictable now. So basically, fixed shotgun mod. Um, so that's gonna be so helpful. Now leaving like, you know environmental me. reprocessing center. Next stop, site two. Uh, I just skipped ahead what are to you this. Doing? Okay. I was waiting here on the train for my partner. He went to investigate what was going on, but he never came back. Oh, I wonder why. Now, I wonder why I he never I came back. He I don't know what the hell's going on, but I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at site two. Oh, probably. Like that they're somehow connected with those things in the Delta complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Redux mod really does improve, Remember, like, makes the HUD HD. Please do not um, exit the you know, it just cleans up, adds some aliasing protection. to needed textures. In the event of an stop, you know, will be like, if you look closely, these textures still are kind of bad. But overall, you know, it's doable and they look updated. Hell, I will say, the Warning. UI screens Airlock for these, uh, Please contact engineering these like control repairs. things Thank actually look amazing. Have a nice day. Now, these guys. There we go. Yeah, those guys are a little bit uh, finicky. Wow, you don't know how good it feels to actually have a workable shot. Like it actually feels like, like it shouldn't be this good. I mean, it's definitely not as good as uh, the Doom Two, Doom One shotguns. But you know, it's it's a workable shotgun in comparison. favorite weapon in this game now, no doubt, is this chain. This thing is like really good. And honestly, it's what stops me from hurting myself at night. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now could other weapons in this game be improved? Yes. But overall, they are pretty decent. Um, launch wise. Um, my God, that's a lot of it. I think I got them all. Finally. Whew. 
Yeah, but honestly, I think this game is still an intense shooter, and um, even though it's not as fast-paced or, you know, as classic as, you know, the Doom 1 and Doom 2, and even Doom 16, you don't, you don't get that same badass factor from the main character. I, I think Doom Eternal. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Doom Eternal went a little over the top um, from what I've seen, just on how he's like, Oh, fuck this, fuck that, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is ripping dead. I think it's a little bit eccentric. A little bit over-exaggerated, some might say. Um, because... I, mean, I always picture the Doom guy as... He's brutal, but he doesn't... He doesn't outwardly, like, just, like, say fuck up. You know, Doom 2016 did really good in that aspect. Like, just in that beginning. Dun, 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 dun. You hear that Mick Gordon come in as he fucking punches the CPU screen or whatever, the computer screen in the elevator. Dude, that's, like, iconic. And that will forever, like, be, like, headbang, you know? But Doom Eternal took that, multiplied it by 10, and said, yeah, that's fine. Hello, man. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, it, 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 it took it a little bit too far. Now, is Doom Eternal a great game other than that? <laughs> From what I've heard, I haven't played it yet. From what I've heard, I've heard it's a phenomenal game. You know, something that a lot of shooters should try to strive to copy in some aspects. Uh, I had 69 health. Uh, but yeah. Uh, one big gripe I have with the Doom 2016. I can't say this about Doom Eternal. I've actually heard they really ramped up Doom Eternal's um, you know, level design comparatively. But one big gripe I have about Doom 2016's uh, uh, level design was a lot of it didn't feel memorable. Um, a lot of it felt very samey. Um, it just felt like a big arenas for no reason other than to be big arenas, you know. Um, it was it not eight two three, eight two six. So yeah, um, I just felt like airlock security override and functions detected. Yeah, I just I just felt like Doom 2016 for how great of a game it was. It had faults, and it definitely wasn't a 10 out of 10. Um, does Doom Eternal deserve all the hate that it got for um, oh, treated Mick Gordon? You know. Let me play Devil's Advocate here. From what I've read on it, um, Mick Gordon? So uh, you could say in response to this, oh, well, their deadlines must have been strict. Well, the thing is, Mick Gordon wasn't even the one who composed the entirety of the soundtrack. He only did like, 20 songs. And the rest of it was um, other now composers at Bethesda. To... Next stop, Delta Complex. Though... Uh, Mick Gordon, his he complained about you know getting pressed and whatever, but oops. from what I heard, he wasn't meeting his deadlines. That's about all I can shed on that. Um, and the thing is, if you work for any job, contract work, whatever, because he was obviously contracted on to do it. If you're not making your deadlines, then. I understand why they, you know, not hire him in the future. Um, you know, actually, they didn't express any ill will for him not meeting his deadlines. Um, but it just it involved them having to go at a slow pace because of it. Now, do I think Doom Eternal is such a great push over Doom 2016 and, you know, songs quality? No, I've listened to the soundtrack. I really don't find much memorable from it, comparatively to Doom 2016. But, hey man, to each their own. Um, 
I think Doom 2016 was a great game, great soundtrack. Doom Eternal. I think I think the whole Mick Gordon thing got pushed out of fucking proportion. Now, De Nuvo. You know, I think people have a right to complain about that. Literally changing the product that you were... Like, I know so many people who said I straight up would not have bought, um, you know, Doom Eternal if I'd known that De Nuvo. Straight up. And maybe that's why they waited until after launch to try that shit with people. You know? Um, all I can say is they're in for a class action lawsuit. Um, probably. Because of that. Um, I mean, it's damn shame. Destroy this. Definitely, maybe a class action lawsuit. <laughs> and the thing is, the de Nuro shit Automated turret guns is active at fucking kernel level. Who? I, I want a comparison, all right, between. An anti-cheat working at non-kernel level and kernel level. Because I can guarantee you, shit like uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, you know, um, it has an easy anti-cheat, whatever. I guarantee you, that shit does not impact performance. Warning. Attention. Automated turret guns offline. Does not impact performance, and you don't need to do that fucking kooky ass shit. scandal was basically for nothing. Getting people getting refunds. Blah, blah, blah. Three, six, four. Thank God. Fucking plasma ammo. Alright. Let's keep moving. Shells. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? <sighs> oh, hey. Fuck with me, man. Got a shotgun. I ain't afraid to use it. Jesus. Here's something over here. down. Retrieve the data linker to allow. Okay. It's understandable. <laughs> Convenience is convenient.
Yeet. Get me back in here. The vents are nice to me. I'm surprised I haven't had to fight an enemy. It's like they're lurking. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, I guess we gotta just keep moving. Video link up requested. Connection established. Green, this is Kelly. If you're watching this, you're tougher than I thought. Yes, things aren't always what they seem. Plans have changed. The other complex one has been compromised. You're not safe there. I'm moving to Secure Service Tunnel 1. It's not far from your position. We'll meet there. Hmm. Alright. Fucker. Don't pull that shit on me. Yeah, no. I've already been there. That's picky. You know, you don't actually see many of them throughout the game, the pinkies. Um, kind of underused. IMO. Get fucked, man. Shells. Warning. Reactor core offline. Please follow safety procedure. Orange. Ooh. 
Why are you laughing, mate? Twenty one D. Let's see if I got this one. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Disciplinary action. That's great. Four members of the security detail assigned to the Delta Labs have been reprimanded. was like a roll like I've never seen before. Jesus. Huh? Anyone else want a piece of me? Come on. Fuck it. You can walk towards me. I'm just... I mean, that's fine. I tape it. Hey y'all. So, <laughs> I decided to pop this in and uh, hey man, we'll see.
Well, let's just say not as good as I used to be. Brutal, as some might say. 